guys. Happy Saturday. Okay. Bye. <clears throat>
We're not going to let it aggravate us any more than it already has. So, the girls went and got in the pool. Um, Jonathan's out there, I think, at the pond. He might have come back in the house. I don't think so. John ended up eating some lunch. And then he went to dig for a while. <sighs> and he took Nolan with him, so... They're gone doing that, and I was going to go get in the pool with the kids, the girls, because I'm tired, and I don't want to do nothing else. I went upstairs and changed clothes and ended up just getting on the bed with the dogs. Um, Paisley and Avalon was up there in the bed, and I was this close, just to falling asleep. So, um, obviously, I'm not going to sleep. I would like to, but I'm not, but I think I might go out and read, um, since I know the pool is too cold for me. I'm such a wimp, so, I don't know. And then we'll talk to John about what we're going to do tomorrow. I even thought about just giving it up. Hey, Bubba. Um, I'm just going swimming or doing something that I don't, that I know is easy. And I exactly what we'll do. I have to talk to John. We'll figure something out. We're going to make the best of it, make the best of it. So, um, yeah, I'm done rambling. You won't have nothing for Saturday's video except for me talking, I guess. That's why I didn't plan on vlogging today. I was just going to vlog tomorrow. But here we are. So, I don't know. I want to go do something to make myself not fall asleep. And we will pick you back up eventually. What are you doing? Sitting. You don't have your brother to play with. I didn't want to get in. I was just hot. You asked about Nolan, and then I seen you was in there. I hadn't seen him all day. I have to shock it again. Be careful, oh, that's slick. Turtle. I hope I wouldn't want it fell out. I don't want it. We had to off road. Look at this one. That poplar tree is part of that coming road, so we had to go around. There. What tree? That big poplar tree in there, it got me up with the lightning. It fell, all of it, or just oh, part of it? Top of it here, off road. Wait, what did he say? That's why that car turned around. What happened? That big tree that got struck by lightning a couple months ago, a piece of it fell off in the road. Never. We had to off road.
lot of this video is on this front porch because, well, we live a boring life, I guess. Um, but yeah, as you can see, we're home because I decided not to go. Not this weekend, anyway. Um, I don't know. I was like fighting it, anyways. And that's distracting. Um, and then I have a friend that wants to stop by and. I don't know. So I just decided, oh, and Lily was wanting to do a couple things in our town today anyways, what she had asked yesterday. Um, and she didn't know what I was planning and I know granted she would like it better if we went there, but I don't know. So I figured we would just wait. I don't know. Um, I think we might go, my phone's been going off all morning. Um, but I think uh, I look terrible. Um, I think we're just gonna go to the lake and hang out for a couple hours and then go do the things that Lily and the kids would want to do. And then I need to run to the grocery store, even though I already done a grocery haul. Um, I ended up doing that on Friday evening because I was trying to not go to the grocery store on Sunday. So I want to be able to relax and not just because it's my birthday, but I just, I want to transition my grocery day from not Sunday. That way, if I want to sit here all day long, I can. Because Sunday's just, I don't know, it just seems like such a day of peace for me. Um, so, yeah. I don't know. We'll bring you along. I'm thinking what we're going to do, though, is just go to the lake for a couple hours. Because it is supposed to rain again today. Of course, it wasn't supposed to yesterday and it came that big storm, um, which knocked a part of the tree down out the road and um, it knocked our electric out for like maybe four or five minutes. It wasn't that long, but yeah, so what was I saying? Oh, it is supposed to rain this evening, um, but it's like starts at like five or six. We'll be home by then. So John is off doing his thing. He did let me sleep in this morning. Um, so, if he gets up and leaves, I get up. That's just how it works. He could, he usually does wake me up, but if he didn't wake me up, I would still get up because, well, I wake up and if I know he's leaving, I know that that means he wants coffee and maybe a treat until I get up with him. So, he stayed in bed. We stayed in bed for a while this morning and then we got up and I got my coffee and now we're just enjoying life, I guess. Um, I already feel emotional. <laughs> I'm trying not to be emotional, though. Um, yeah, we gotta go to the store and get some things. Um, are you recording? You better be recording. I think I am about to really take control of my health, and not just because I don't like my weight. Um, and if you're bigger than me, or you're smaller than me, and you want to be bigger, I hope this doesn't offend anybody or hurt anybody's feelings, because the only thing that really matters is how you feel to yourself as far as um, your appearance goes. Obviously, you want to be healthy, but if you're happy, no matter what your weight is or what you look like in the mirror, if you're happy, that's all that matters. Um, and in the end, I am not happy with what I see when I look in the mirror. And I've just not been feeling well lately, like, like ever. And I know it's because of the way I eat. I know it. Um, and it seems like even more so lately, it's been getting prominent with things that I eat has been making me sick or just not feeling well um so <clears throat> I was holding a lot of stuff in okay um so I think I'm going to just just do it quit making the excuses that I don't usually let myself use I've been letting myself use them as far as like diet goes so we'll see how that goes I hate coming on here and saying stuff about diet because I've said it so many times so many times more than a handful on this platform since I've had this channel for a year and a half and well I watched my birthday vlog from last year which was super cringy by the way um maybe I'm all cringy maybe still next year I'll be watching this one and I'll still be cringy but um yeah your girl was quite a bit skinnier than by like at least 20 pounds but I just felt like I looked I felt like I looked then 
that I got confused. My sister texted me. Um, healthier. I felt like I looked healthier then. Like I was kind of glowing and obviously I had a little bit more of a tan going, but I was just, I felt like I looked healthier. I don't remember how I felt then. Um, but I do not feel healthy right now. I'll just say that. Um, so we're going to start working on that. Maybe, maybe I'll start a series on that and it will help me be accountable. I don't know. We'll see. But I've been talking way too long. This is going to be like the world's longest vlog of me sitting on a porch drinking coffee, chatting. So, um, oh, I did paint my nails last night. Do you see it? I don't love it, to be honest. It looks more like a toe color, but, um, we didn't have no nail polish remover. We have just a tiny bit. And um, I keep some in my bathroom. The girls keep some in their bathroom. But they also use it for crafts and stuff. So they had used all theirs. And I just barely had any in mind. So I just thought we'd deal with it. It's not ugly. Can you see it? Is it focusing? Um, it's just more of a toe color. So we're leaving it. All right. I'm done boring you. I have to go reply to 15 text messages. And I'll pick you back up whenever we do whatever we're doing. All right, so Wendy went out when I was on the front porch reading and picked me some wildflowers. I know they're weeds to most people, but to me they're not. Look how pretty it is. Too bad, Abby. He's kind of cute. <laughs> Do you want to know? Well, I've been thinking about you, and I think I have to listen because the sun is up. It's a beautiful day. My beginning will be as bright as the sun Come, won't you come along? And it feels so bright It's like luck is raining on me Go and follow your heart Doesn't matter how far There is so much love to give Something's telling me this time Baby, baby, now I know Baby, baby, gotta go There is so much love to give Something's telling me It's you, yeah, boy The one to show me now and forever Know you'll never be alone again All day, oh yeah, all day Please stay in my arms, boy The one to show me if we're together It don't matter if it rains All day, oh yeah, all day As long as you're in my arms, boy mm. It's you and me on this beautiful day to your time, I guess the hearts can align, and it feels so bright, it's like your love has gotten to me, go and follow your heart, doesn't matter how far, I can see it now, it's deep in your eyes, no way to define what we feel inside, baby, baby, now I know, baby, baby, gotta go, there is so much love to give, something's telling me it's right, came to me, oh I knew, it's you, yeah, boy, the one to show me now and forever, no you'll never be alone again, all day, oh yeah, all day, please stay in my arms, boy, the one to show me if we're together, it don't matter if it rains, all day, oh yeah, all day, as long as you're in my arms, boy, don't worry if tomorrow, for now, you're everything in my day. The way you like a song, you know my heart Cause you know me, know my heart You're everything in my day I love the way you know my heart Yeah Pick it up Pick it up Pick it up, where is it? 
Don't throw it. Yeah. Yeah. That's rocks. All right. The one who showed me now and forever. All right, guys, so we're home. I've not changed clothes yet, but I got a few groceries put away that I stopped and got. And I got a couple more gifts this morning, today, anyways. So you've already seen them. I just haven't recorded it. Um, so that I've just decided to share because why not? So this one is from Heather. Um, yeah, this one's from Heather. She sent me some of these stickers, which I had really been wanting. Um, I was ready to just buy them myself. But she sent me those, and then this cute little book. It's so cute. But I got, she got me that, and then this. I'm very excited about this one. I don't know if it's showing. The Well-Watered Woman. I have been wanting this for a pretty good while, so. Really excited about that. And then Carrie sent me a desk calendar. I'll get it out. It says, it doesn't matter what you say you believe. It only matters what you do. This is the one for today. So cute. This will go upstairs in my office, loft, whatever. And then this. I'm very excited about this. Yeah. Just so you know, that's not yours. But this is the blanket. It is beautiful. Perfect colors. Turn around so I can see it even though it's upside down. It says warm hugs. I don't know. All kinds of stuff. No one's moving. Do not drag it on. Let's see. That's what it looks like right side up. Okay, you can put it on the couch. Make sure it's not dragging the ground. And we stopped and got the kids some of their own hula hoops. Wendy must have took hers to her room. sweaty i'm getting ready to go upstairs and change but i figured we'd just go ahead and close out this video here because it's already kind of late and i'm just going to change and probably start editing this um i am very glad though that i changed my mind and we didn't go to the zoo because it was it was 85 degrees here it was 90 one way and 91 the other or something and we would have died it was so hot even with it just being 85 degrees so um even walking from the truck is just started raining, of course. Um, from rock walking like to the truck over to the swimming hole. Is that what we're gonna call it? Yeah. Um, walking from the truck over to the lake, it was hot. Like we were sweating and I was like, I can't imagine being on pavement at the zoo with it being ninety degrees. So glad we didn't do that. We might have to put off the zoo until fall because I wanna be able to enjoy it and not be hot and have complaining kids. So, um, yeah, I think we're just going to close this out here. I just want to say thank you to everyone who took the time on Instagram to say happy birthday to um, the people that sent me stuff. Just, I don't have words and I get emotional thinking about it. So, you know, it feels, it's different when you have people in your corner. That's all I can say. And I'm very thankful for everybody. Being part of my community means means everything to me so I just wanted to say thank you to everyone um yeah so thank you there's really no words to explain to express what you all mean to me because there's just not so um so yeah thank you um I love you guys and I truly mean that I truly mean that so just thank you for everything for just being in my corner for supporting me for for being there so thank you um with that i'm gonna get off of here and go in here put on some 
better comfy clothes. These are comfortable. They're just hot. Um, so yeah, thank you. I love you guys, and we will see you all next time, which will be tomorrow. So it's all right. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already, which obviously you probably have if you're if you're to here. If not, go ahead and do it. Um, but yeah, have I said I love you guys? Because I love you guys, and we will see you all tomorrow. As always, remember to show grace, be content, and live blessed. Bye, guys.